Okay, so I've had a number of students ask me over the last week, how did I upload a Word document or a GoodNotes document to Seesaw? So I thought I'd put together a really quick video to show you how. So the very first thing you need to do is have your Seesaw class open and you need to make sure you have open in Seesaw the class where you would like to upload the work to. So in this example, I would like to upload the work to the maths class. So I'm going to have maths open. We then come out of Seesaw and we go into either Word or GoodNotes, wherever it is that we're creating the document. In this instance, I'm going to do a Word document. So the first thing we need to do once we've finished the document is go up to the right hand um, top corner and you'll see a little square with an arrow in it. It might look like this one or it might look just a slight variation on the square with the arrow in it. Click on that and we're going to go to send a copy. Now the first thing we need to do is change the format because uh, Seesaw only accepts a PDF format, so we're going to click on format and we're going to change that to PDF. Now for you, Seesaw might come up straight away as an option for sending a copy, but it doesn't for me, so I'm going to go send with another app and then I'm going to find Seesaw. So I'll click on Seesaw. Uh, yes, I'd like to add it as John Smith. John Smith is my pretend student character. Tick. I wait and it tells me that the item is uploaded. Now I'm going to go into Seesaw and I'm going to check that that's actually the case. The last thing I want to do is expect that my assignment has uploaded to Seesaw and that actually hasn't happened. So let's go back into Seesaw and I uploaded that to Maths 7K and I'm going to come in and I'm going to check that, that actually uploaded. Now depending on how your teacher has Seesaw set up, if they have to approve items uh, before they appear in your journal, it may not show straight away. So in this example, the teacher has it set up so that they approve items before they appear in the journal. So once the teacher has approved it, let's go back into Math 7K now, it will appear. If the teacher doesn't have it set that they have to approve the item before it goes to your journal, it will appear there straight away. So let's do another practice. This time we're going to go uh, and do that from GoodNotes. So let's open up GoodNotes. Here's my file that I would like to upload. So I'm going to upload it to Healthy World this time. So let's navigate to Healthy World because you need to have that class open. I'm in Healthy World now. I'm going to go back to GoodNotes and we're gonna upload this file. So you'll notice that the square with the arrow is in the top left hand corner this time. It moves around just to trick us and it looks a little bit different. But like I said, it's a square with an arrow in it of some sort. We're going to click on that one and we are going to click on export this page or export all. If it's just one page, it would be export this page. Um, if it's export all, um, you use that because you have more than one, one good notes page that you need to do. We want to click on PDF because again, Seesaw only accepts PDF files, not GoodNotes files. You could do it as an image, but PDF is super easy. We're gonna click on export. And now it's gonna ask us where we want to export it to. So we're going to click on Seesaw. Yes, that's how we'd like to do it. We're gonna give it a moment. And like I said before, we're gonna go into Seesaw and check that it actually did upload. So here we are in Healthy World. And there it is, both of my pages have come on over. Check both pages are there. There they are. Sometimes in different uh, versions of iPads and different versions of Seesaw, Word and GoodNotes, it might look a little bit different, um, but you're always looking for that square with the arrow in it and exporting as a PDF. If you do have any issues, uh, don't hesi hesitate to come to the student admin counter and ask for Miss Shepherd. I'll be more than happy to help you.